<laughs> Hello guys, we got a new plugin called Exorcism 2 by SSL. It's currently free. I'm gonna link it below so you guys can grab it for free. I'm not sure if it's limited time. I assume it's for Halloween. Uh, but this thing is actually interesting because there's a lot of effects in here. I'm just gonna go through presets to show you guys what it sounds like on my voice, but then we're gonna score like a horror type. We're gonna like score our own sound using this plugin. So here's the default patch here. Sounds like this. Here's some other patches so it's not just low frequency voices. Here's another one. This one's cool because it's very subtle and you could tuck it behind like a vocal or even just melodies in general. I like that. I like that. The wind sound. I like that like wind sound. So hopefully you guys can see it can do a lot. It's not just pitching stuff down. So let's use this. Let's record some synth lines here from my Prophet 6. And we're going to make our own little horror Halloween type. Okay, so let's do like a Travis Scott horror type sound. So let's go to song mode. So now we got the synth line. I was just playing minor chords and suspend a second. So the sound is already dark. So let's see what we could do. Let's hit control L, send it to the mixer. And uh, we're going to load it up. So when you guys install this plugin, it's called SSL Exorcism. So you might be looking for the actual X like I was. But here's the default. Firstly, we're going to turn the mix level back just so we don't like confuse our ears. And let's turn everything down so that we understand what is doing what. So let's turn stuff down. So crypt size, I assume, is for the echo, which I assume is the delay. Let's see. So it's like a reverb delay. Or it could, yeah, it's like a, a delay after reverb. And it sounds like the reverb has like a filter on it. All right, and then the ghoul, let's see what this is. This is a pitch bend. You guys can hear the pitch range. So that sounds pretty cool. And then let's see what the whale is. I assume this is like a vibrato, a modulation in LFO over the pitch. Yeah, so whale is like a vibrato effect. Once you turn the ghoul on. So I'm going to turn that off because I don't want the um, pitch wobble. So I don't know if these represent semitones or what. So what we're doing is just adding more frequency content here with the ghoul knob. I'm trying to like tune it kind of hard somewhere around there okay let's see what the tomb verb does okay so that's more obvious reverb here so I like this tomb verb a lot it sounds really good it's a really nice reverb and let's see what this howl does So Howl, I think, takes the reverb and it granulizes it, it sounds like. 
or maybe it's like a filter sweep. It's hard to tell. But it sounds like a bypass or not a bypass, a bandpass filter over the reverb that's like sweeping. To create that air type tone where it's like like that. So for all I know, that could be a noise patch. I'm, it's really hard to tell exactly what it is. Let's blend this to 100%. Now here's the hard part is getting this tuning right, the ghoul knob. So I'm going to turn it up just enough to where we hear the tone, but it's not overtaking the entire sound because then we get dissonance. Now let's add like a bass layer here. So far, so good. Let's see what else we can do. Let's add this bass in here. So far, so good. All right, hold on. For the effect that we have, I don't think the bass would even go through this effect, but let's see if we can make the bass go through it using the, um, I think it's called the ghoul feature because it changes the pitch. So I'm curious to see what kind of tune we can get out of here. Now, so now what I'm going to do is turn everything down. I might mess with the tune verb because I like the sound. Let's pull the well down. We're going to mess with the ghoul knob. The wet knob is all the way up so that it's just the effect. So this sounds like a frequency modulator of some sort, or like. Oh, that sounds pretty dope. So oh, let's add the verb. Let's see what the howl does. So far we have a super creepy sound. Now let's add the top top frequencies high, like the um, top line. Let's see what we can add to this bell um, as far as so this plugin is interesting because it gives you a sound that you just really don't get with other plugins 
like to get that sound you would need i don't even know what plugins to combine to get the sound but it would be somewhere near the like um eventide plugin to get like this realm of sound e even though the eventide doesn't have reverb but so this sound is i'd probably say it's i don't know any other plugin that could do all this in one so let's see here let's start messing with this I also like too how we can have two different pitches and then blend in with the wet level to create like a phase. So that creates a really dope sound. My favorite part though is that tomb verb sounds really good. Let's mess with this echoes. Let's see if we can get a dope sound. Let's add some pitch wobble here. sounds like we have a choir in here if you know we don't it's that's it's the plug-in so it looks like they tune their stuff up to 450 hertz because i had to tune my keyboard up I just wanted to show you guys how to use it on stuff other than your voice. And remember, you guys can automate any of these knobs. So let's say you want the reverb to come in over time. Go to the top left, browse parameter. And you can right click, create an automation clip. And this way you can, or the mix level, whatever you guys want to automate. And you could automate it over time. So it's not just 100% the same way all the time. Right, guys i'll leave a link below to the ssl exorcism plugin thank you guys for watching subscribe if you're new it's game from busyworkspeaks.com peace out guys